Here is your barbell squat checklist. When you're setting up, you want to make sure that the barbell is below shoulder height. Grabbing an equal distance from the middle with the hands, you're going to step under the barbell, resting it on the meat of the upper traps. Drive the hips forwards to unrack. Then proceeding into a three-step walkout and getting the feet set. For most people, toes pointing out at 15 to 45 degrees for the barbell squat will be optimal. Before you descend into the squat, you want to breathe deep into the diaphragm and brace the core. Once you have that, we're gonna think about breaking from the hips and the knees simultaneously to sit the butt down between the heels. In this bottom position of the squat, I'm thinking about keeping the knees pushed out and my chest up high, then digging the heels down into the floor to stand back up. The depth of your squat is going to be dictated by how low you can go while still maintaining a neutral lower spine. This for me is a comfortable bottom position. I could go lower, but now my lower spine has rounded out. Only go as low as you can comfortably maintain that neutral back instead of flexing it. Also notice how the bar stays over the top of my midfoot throughout the squat movement. The recommendations for footwear are similar to deadlifts in the way that we don't want to use soft running shoes. Instead, either go for a flat shoe, or if you struggle with ankle mobility, you can get a weightlifting shoe which has a heel lift. This will help to create that artificial dorsiflexion which will increase your squat depth. If struggling with squat depth, you can either use plates, a wedge like this, or a weightlifting shoe. Elevating the heels will allow most people to achieve a deeper squat. 